Dr. Martin, if you leave the Christian to live only by faith, if you sweep away all good works, all these glorious things you dismiss as mere crutches, what will you put in their place? Christ. What is up, YouTube? My name is Victor, and welcome back. Oh, hold on. Is that right? To the social student pastor, my name is Victor, and today we are diving right into the Protestant Reformation. Unless you've been living under a rock, you have probably heard about the Asbury Revival that's happening over in Kentucky, and it got me thinking about revivals throughout Christian history, and, and really big revivals, really big acts and moves of the Holy Spirit. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been really thinking about how we, especially Western Christians, have, have kind of neglected Neglected. Can you stop? That's my dog. How we as Western Christians have kind of neglected the Holy Spirit in, in our Christianity. And what I've come to realize is that these really big acts throughout Christian history were prompted and executed by the Holy Spirit. Today, I want to look at the Protestant Reformation and I want to talk about why the Protestant Reformation should matter to you. Hi, I'm John Green. This is Crash Course World History and today we're going to talk about the Protestant Reformation. The Protestant Reformation was a movement that began in the 16th century in Europe and it changed Christianity forever. You see, before the Reformation, the Catholic Church was the dominant religious institution in Europe during the Middle Ages. However, the church was plagued by corruption, including the sales of indulgences, which were like get out of hell free cards, and buying and selling church offices. Like if you wanted to be a priest, you just pay a hundred pounds or whatever they used back then in Europe, and you could become a priest. The Protestant Reformation challenged the Catholic Church's authority and doctrine and it led to the establishment of various Protestant denominations, including Lutheranism, Calvinism, Anglicanism, Evangelical... Ev Why do we pick such a hard name? Why do we pick... Why? There's... Anyways. It emphasized the importance of individualism and critical thinking in Christianity. And, and this is really important because it encouraged people to study and learn the Bible on their own. So that when they heard teaching from a priest or a pastor, they could take that, put it up against scripture, which they could now read, and see if the pastor was telling the truth. Luther, who was a German monk, is widely regarded as the father of the Protestant Reformation. In 1517, he wrote his famous 95 Theses. The 95 Theses challenged the Catholic Church's practice of selling indulgences and a ton more. You see, Luther argued that salvation is achieved through faith in Jesus Christ alone and not through the purchase of indulgences or the practice of good works. He also translated the Bible into the German language, making it far more accessible to the common people. Luther's teachings emphasized the importance of faith in Jesus Christ and taught that the Bible was God's inerrant, perfect word that he has given to us to serve as our religious authority. You see, Luther taught that Christians are justified by faith alone and that the church's teaching should be based solely on the perfect word of God, the Bible. The reason I tell you about the history of Luther, and I encourage you, the clip from the beginning of today's video was actually a clip from a movie that was done in the 1900s that kind of walked through Luther's life. Luther is such an amazing picture of the Holy Spirit's faithfulness to the church. And this is where I'm getting at here in this video. It is so encouraging to know that the Holy Spirit is sovereign over his church, like God, the righteous God of the universe knows and sees his church and God determines the path that his church goes down, not man. And so as man began to take the church down an abusive route where the church was abusing people, where the church was abusing power, God said, hey, I that that is not Christianity. These people do not worship Jesus as their savior. We need to change. So the Holy Spirit prompted not only Luther, but but thousands of people to go back to the idea that faith in Jesus is where we find salvation, nothing more and nothing less. 
And so the question is, why does this matter to you? Well, it matters for a couple of reasons. One, it should encourage the Christian because we can be confident that we have a God who sustains his people. That although we may face trials, tribulations, struggles, difficulties, that our God sees and knows us and he is walking alongside us. God sustains his church because his church is the rock in which his people flourish. Two, the other reason we should really care about the Protestant Reformation is because we we often talk about the, the doctrine that spawned out of the Protestant Reformation. And man, without the doctrine that came out of the Protestant Reformation, we would be so lost, trust me. But one of the one of the things that we often forget to think about is that the Protestant Reformation was an incredible act of the Holy Spirit. John Piper said it so something like this, is that the, the main goal of the Protestant Reformation wasn't to reform the church, it was to bring glory to God. I think in the Western church today, we need to begin to, to recapture to remember the role of the Holy Spirit in the life of the church and know that the Holy Spirit can do what the Holy Spirit wants whenever and however God deems fit. So the Protestant Reformation should matter to you because it should give you a bigger picture of God, knowing that he is capable and sovereign to, to care for his people well and to sustain his church until the end. Y'all, if you liked videos like this today, let me know down in the comments below. I, I, I really enjoyed putting this one together and I hope you learned something. Let me know down in the comments what video you wanna see next and I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, take care and God bless.